A CD originally at rest reaches an angular speed of 40 radian per second in 5.0 second. What is the magnitude of its angular acceleration? How many revolutions does the CD make in the 5.0 second? So first thing to solve this problem is we have to collect information whatever is given uh, let us collect it so look at here a cd originally at rest it has an angular speed originally it is at rest that means the uh, angular velocity angular velocity uh, the initial angular velocity is omega naught which is zero right it says rest and then uh, final angular velocity that is represented by omega 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 is equal to 40 rad per second okay and the time is also given which is 5.0 second these are three things given in the equation initial angular velocity which is zero final angular velocity which is 40 rad per second and time 5 second what is the target variable target variable here is alpha which is angular acceleration in the first case and in the second case how many revolutions does it make that means angular displacement in terms of uh, revolutions right you can get it in radian and then convert in revolutions later okay so these are given informations from question and uh, target variables now your second part of solving problem is write an equation writing an equation that is suitable equation to find a target variable so in first case we have to find alpha so which is the best equation to find alpha based on the given situation because we know omega we know omega naught and we have time so this is the best equation to find alpha right so after writing this equation we you can do the mathematics so put all insert all these values and do the mathematics so alpha is equal to inserting all these value where omega naught is 40 radian per second right and initial angular velocity which is omega naught was zero so you can insert this zero here and then time that is time taken uh, to reach 40 radian per second is 5 seconds so this time okay so after calculating this value you will get uh, 8 radian per second square which is alpha that is angular velocity so <clears throat> this cd uh, will accelerate with angular acceleration of 8.0 radian per second square okay in second part you have to find the revolutions per second right how many revolutions per second so it means what it is asking is theta so to find the theta let's go here write down the equation which is displacement to theta is equal to omega naught t omega naught t and then half alpha t square this is the similar equation like x equal to v naught t plus half a t square right this is angular equivalent so this equation is ang angular equivalent of this kinematic equation so by using this equation we can easily find the theta which is angular displacement okay so initial angular velocity omega is zero so we can put zero here and then half alpha t squared we know omega naught is equal to zero okay from here we already get value of alpha from first part of this equation which is eight rad per second squared inserting all these value value for ultra here and the t we have given in the equation we will get 100 rad per second calculating this value okay if you convert this value from radian to the revolutions 
what is one revolution one revolution means two pi radian right you can convert it into radian so how can you convert in one radian is equal to one by two pi that means if you divide 100 by 2 pi you will get in revolutions so it will be 50 by pi and pi is almost a 3 it's a, about 16 right 16 revolutions 16 point something is there but you can round it off to get 16 so these are the number of revolutions made by that CD okay so this is your answer